All right, let's get started. Can you speak Frenchly? Uh, yeah, of course. Okay. Uh, but we can speak English. Je ne parle pas français. Yeah, we can, we can speak frankly. Uh, I just don't can we speak frankly and, yeah, and sure. get to the point. Sure, sure, sure. So, um, yeah, I, I read the slides. I uh, recommended the slides uh, to the Tonic and Health that does team. But it seems that they have already got their own uh, marketing agency. Uh, and they actually filmed uh, right here. Uh, and so we, we get to meet uh, the, the partners that they, they chose. And so sorry that didn't, that didn't work out. Yeah. That's not what we're interested in. Okay. We were not interested in the job. Okay. I think it's not for more than 10 years now. 10 yeah. years. Yes. yes. And from day one, I've been trusting the ball, so to speak, to, um, to move things forward. And I feel like I'm pretty incredible amount of, yeah. of inertia. Yeah. And what, my first year was very nice. I went to Swanson Airport huh? and I had to speak to the director. There's a way you can get to speak by the sure, sure. director. I said, listen, the signage, I'll do it for free. I will literally do it for free. Uh -huh. But I had a friend from America who refused to come to visit me. He said, I looked at the website and said, that doesn't look like a third world company. I'm going to fly to the main airport. This one looks like I love it. I was like, no, it's a high end quality, perfectly not everything. The civil aviation here is top notch. Yeah. We're both private pilots. We said, ah, I don't trust you. We're private pilots. I used to come for a long time. I went to this office for free. You don't even have to hire me on paper. I'll slip it under your door. No. No, we demand that this should be certified, blah, blah, blah. And of course, the real story is nobody wants change. Because change means work, and work means risk, and risk is not what you want. What if change reduces risk, though? You want to be tired of this number, you want to be like, oh, what might you have? So I said, my company do marketing and branding. We have about three quarters of our clients are not companies. But a lot of these companies are coming to Wind power is a good example. We have five clients in the wind power sector. It's the same story. These people come to Taiwan. They want to do localization. They want to partner up with the local partner. Obviously, we have the windiest spots on the seven out of the ten windiest spots on the globe in the sea of the Strait of Taiwan. We're sitting on a golf literally. Yeah. And we, we as Taiwan need to exploit them. We have to face ours to exploit. We need to do that. So at the same time we can't shut ourselves off. So we need a partnership. And here's a company like Dome Energy or like Fred Olsen Wind Power. They come here and they look at the website of the TIPC and they go like, who are these people? Mm -hmm. Are they even in this century? Mm -hmm. They see a presentation, they go to their office, they get a presentation full of spell on their space. Mm -hmm. Like it was designed by my cousin in Kazakhstan. Yeah, someone with red zigzag lines. <laughs> and and, and I, I always tell them, if you go to a job interview with someone, uh -huh. and you wear two different shoes, uh -huh. and there's a big soy sauce stain on your front, uh -huh. and you have some food here, and there's uh -huh. like a little hair out coming out of your ear, uh -huh. and you don't get the job, uh -huh. are you surprised? Uh -huh. You never get a second chance to make that first uh -huh. Uh -huh. So Yeah, maybe you call it performance art, but anyway. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. at that point, it yeah. is a bit of a performance part. At the same time, it's driven by courtesy uh -huh. to say, well, I respect this meeting, I'm going to show the best I know. Uh -huh. And not doing that is not just underselling yourself. Mm -hmm. In a case of, for example, the TMTC or the CDC, mm -hmm. they're underselling Taiwan. Mm -hmm. I've seen this literally happen where a big meeting with the Rotary, everybody sits there, a big presentation for the new Taiwan Airport. Uh, uh, free uh, trade zone there. The first slide comes on with a cartoon character full of misspelling. I see a guy from Philippines, a guy from Joyce Bungal. I'm serious. No, no, this, this is Taiwan. We know what we're doing. But the first impression you get is like, mm -hmm. that was lunch. Mm -hmm. I was furious. Mm -hmm. We're missing an opportunity. Mm -hmm. So I said, what can we do? Mm -hmm. So we do two things. We try to get some sort of government resources. Mm -hmm. We try to work with SMEs, limited success. The drop-off rate is steep. Many don't survive. And universities, lectures, workshops. The thing is, I believe in teamwork. I don't believe in doing work by myself. I don't believe in doing it without getting input and feedback from others. And, well, of course, I thank you for our information to your colleague mm -hmm. from uh, mm -hmm. 
Well, we couldn't get a reply for three, four weeks straight. No. And then when we finally got a reply, I said, no, you don't understand. I don't need the job. That's right. Let's have coffee. That's right. Share some phone numbers. Maybe That's there's right. someone else who can help. Speaking of which, who would you like coffee? If you have it, I'd uh, love we, we actually do. Okay, no one has a coffee. So, I'm not looking for a major organization, a major project. How can we help? Mm -hmm. Like with the airport. Maybe you just need to know how to write code. Okay, I'll do that for you. I'll send it to you tonight. Maybe you have something small. Mm -hmm. How can we help? Mm -hmm. That's the part that we're struggling with. We, we have some time left over. We set aside for about 50 to 20% of our time to do small work stuff, like uh, startups, small companies, not for profits, uh, private individuals, they're getting merited. It's hard to find the place to put that attention. This is what we're talking to you. Okay. Would you like to ask something? Yes. <laughs> Please tell a little bit about how you got here. Yeah, how, how did you get here? Um, so basically, I came here for a university exchange. Oh. So, um, and I fell in love right away with Tang. Oh, and I just found Tang Bay, one of the people. And I just feel a lot of Taiwanese people and their mindset for most of them, the younger ones, all they're not free to speak themselves and be political. When we get to the government and everything. And I really liked that mindset. And I really like also the atmosphere we feel comfortable here. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we decided to stay here and stay working as a help because it's an amazing environment to grow. Oh, cool. So oh. To, to get more. So you also participate in the design creative yes. work? Uh, yes. Creating creative yes. projects. Yes. Uh, assistant project manager, but killer designer. Oh, wow. I mean, this guy is like project manager by day, designer by night. Oh, wow. Okay. He's been with us for a uh, long time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he just went down from the ceiling. I see. I see. Which is not thought. I see. First, uh, um, he wanted to work with me and I said, I'm sorry, I have a very unconventional office. It's in Yangon Sun. It's not the end of the world, but you can see it from my window. It's a big, it's very beautiful. It's a beautiful workspace. Yeah. It's unconventional. There's a hammock instead of a couch. It's it's a different place. Uh -huh. I don't have a formal office to uh -huh. set. I still want to. I like your clients. I like your business. I still want to work. I said, well, if I can't keep you away, come up with the bus and see how far it is. You showed up on time and said, I love it. Just an hour and a half. It's not that bad. It's not, it's not too long, okay? It's not, it's it's not, not too long. It's not just end of 40 minutes. 45 minutes. It's close and Jemu. Ah, okay, okay. So in, in not really in the mountain. Oh, wow. Well, right. When, when I hear Yami you know, Yusan, I'm like, oh, you're at the peak. No, I'll say the stars. <laughs> and I have never been to a place where it feels like you're at the peak, but you still can, there's still a bus for hops. Okay, that's awesome. That's awesome. You don't have to do a hike for half an hour. No, no, it's not that like backpack and storm with the creaking door. And like, yeah. it's not like that. There's plenty of dying on the I don't okay. know, that's too much. I used to do that. Uh, right, speed by her, so my, my sense of drama sometimes takes over. Okay, wow. So yeah, um, there's there's plenty of uh, chance for a aspiring designer to change how public sector communications work. Um, I think the main ingredient is just to make uh, the uh, pitch so that it reduces your client's risk mm. uh, because um, bureaucracy by its nature is risk of us. Yeah. So when we go in and we're like, oh, we're going to, for example, make you a new website so you can book for your climbing of the Yangmingshan Mountain. Oh, wait, you don't need the permit anymore. But anyway, back when you still need a permit, there, yeah. are, there are still mountains that need a permit. Yeah, uh, yeah. Right, that's right. The Jade Mountain is a good example. Uh, and so um, it used to be that you would have to like file a permit for the national park area and then file a separate permit for the hiking trail yes. and you have to do another uh, permit for booking one of the cottages uh, in the mountain sometime. And the police. Yes. And the police. And the police. And if it's indigenous area. Yes. yes. Uh, so, <laughs> right. So, so then you have to prove that you're with an indigenous person. So uh, anyway, so, so you have to basically make five different trips, uh, either physical to a 
counter yeah. or uh, through a website. And if you speak only English, sometimes the website also say, oh, this is our facsimile number. And you have to provide your application by facsimile. Uh, and then you have to actually find a facsimile machine. And unfortunately, it's convenience stores. But my point being uh, that uh, so there's some aspiring designers uh, that it's like, no, this is not right. Mm. Um, it should be just like, you know, book a overseas trip on bookings or Expedia or whatever. We just tell you, uh, you know, here's a calendar. You choose your start date or end date, and it would just file in all those permits, uh, request applications, or track them, just as those uh, booking agencies will keep track of the hotels and the air flights and things like that. I mean, it sounds natural, uh, but for all the different sighted um, ministries, uh, if you ask them to change uh, their do uh, a lot of things to convince you that there's uh, existing mountaineers, there's existing hikers that are already so used to the, to the old ones, so you have to maintain what we call bug to bug compatibility yes. <laughs> <laughs> in order for, for any change to work. Uh, and so, preservation of misery. <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh, this is a really good term. I'm used to that. Good term. <laughs> anyway, so, so, uh, so our intervention, uh, yeah. which you can now check out at hike that on the GOV.TW is a brand new website that doesn't touch any of the existing ones. These ones still work. But when you file a, a hiking application on this sure. new website, it just does in the background uh, applications yeah. to these uh, old application websites. And so we work with young graduate students who do stakeholder interviews, user mapping, you know, the usual ethnographic hanging out uh, with stakeholders and to everybody who complain about a hiking experience get to invite themselves in as collaborators uh, in the redesign of the hiking uh, mountain. So what I'm trying to get at is that every year we hire around 30 interns uh, and they're equal parts designers and engineers and also project managers, that's like a triangle. Uh, and so each team uh, of team of three look at one public service that they really want to change the experience with. Uh, and then this year, uh, we just met with them, actually. I just met with our new interns uh, this noon. Uh, and, and actually, uh, the project is um, ST's project. So maybe ST can <laughs> share uh, like uh, how many teams are there in the uh, Ray uh, project uh, we have. I think seven. Seven teams. So there's going to be seven public services that gets a, a makeover, essentially. Um, so uh, it's based on two factors. One is that how many complaints uh, they get from the National Development Council's uh, evaluation because they maintain warwap.gov.tw that links to all the services that the public services to offer. Uh, and so they know that uh, what doesn't work right. right? And this, the other uh, part is that uh, instead of popular um, support or misery, um, the, how, how much do those agencies are willing to consider uh, higher um, service designers and people who are into service design workshops before they make their next contract to the system integrator or to the developer of the website or the additional service. Doesn't have to be a website to be an app and so on. And so uh, these two are like up in from the bureaucracy, up in from the uh, user base, uh, for lack of a better term. And, and with these two match, we have a list of, I think, 10 candidates. And based on the students' interest, they actually voted for which one they want to change. So last year, for example, um, in addition to the hiking experience, people say, oh, the National Palace Museum queuing was a problem before the pandemic. Uh, and so they want to improve <laughs> the, the ticketing uh, experience. Now it's coming back, actually. But, and, and then uh, some people at that time, because people really want to flag certain uh, cable channels uh, as spreading uh, not so accurate information. So a lot of students really want to change the service of flagging a misreport on the NCC website, which is the National Communication uh, Commission in charge of overseeing the fact-checking part of the news cable cable news network and so on. So it's based on student interest. Uh, and so what I'm trying to say is that so every year we have this cross of young, talented graduate students, service designers and engineers who are doing precisely the kind of thing that you said you are doing to the Sanjian Airport, offering their help for free uh, as part of their internship. And they're not asking anyone to take anything down. They're merely asking, what if we try a beta website? We try a beta website, uh, and maybe the numbers will show you 
that people like the new flow better. And then, so that's car, but not new. Right, right, exactly, exactly, exactly. Without throwing out the, the old version, which people are still accustomed to with all these type of Zen format errors. And, and maybe other will be flushed, hopefully, no one will be flushed at this point. <laughs> in any case. So, uh, what I'm trying to say uh, is that uh, maybe you can be uh, one of the, the resource teams that our uh, young um, interns can kind of work with. Sure. Uh, so, if you can look at the seven public services and maybe identify one or two that you're also feeling that maybe you use it sometimes and you really don't like it. Sure. That's the best is motivation. Oh, that's the best motivation, yeah. yeah. Right, that's right. Frustrating. Or if you don't use it but you know somebody who use it kind of regularly, well, then that's best. Two things. If you have yeah. a suggestion box, yeah. right? you mount a suggestion box yeah. at 1 meter 85, yeah. you'll never get any complaints. I know, I know. Right? If you yeah. complain that I'm, I'm 1 meter 85, so... You <laughs> have no problem, but you get... I'm the squad, you're told to I feel So if you, put that, if you put that box yes. out there, you never get any complaints from short I know. So part of the problem is that I want perception. I, I love this idea of just streamlining what we have by providing a faster path that doesn't block you. Yeah, that's awesome. Two things in my view, sure. Uh, maybe of the tension, but sure, sure, sure. Of course. One is uh, the international perception that I want. Yeah. Does not know the channels to complain. What they do, they just click away. Yeah. If you want to, um, uh, for example, a foreigner looking at the website of the CPC, the China Productivity Center, I was, I was in the jury of the International Design Award, they have a website that was so bad, bad English, uh, uh, fruitful design look. They were complaining they weren't getting enough entries from serious entries from, from some countries. I wonder why. And I said, wonder why? Because, well, these people, we never heard a complaint from them. Just because they, these people are not in the business of complaint, they're in the business of clicking on the next tab, which is you're gone. Right? Wrong. You never get a second tier. They're not young and angry graduate students. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> we, had, like, we had like 1,500 entries from Croatia, all over, because someone in the government there picked this up and said, hey, there's an award. Pumps into all the schools, all the deans in all the schools gave to the students. So we had like an influx of Croatian wow. art and nothing from next door Bosnia, for example. Okay. The second problem is, in my view, that there, this is more insidious. It is very common in Chinese culture to talk about yourself first. Mm -hmm. Whenever I do a lecture, they always tell me, talk about your business first. And so these are students, they're not interested in my business. I'm here to tell them how they can further their business. That's my job. And I'm not going to thank the minister and the minister after the minister. The minister. I, first of all, I'm like, who needs to pee? <laughs> I'm going to talk for half an hour. So anyone else needs to pee? Okay, thank you, everybody. Let's get started. Usually, okay. I see a lot of frowns on the first front row because they all want to have their own moment in the sense. And no, it's not about me. This is about the You can step into a cinema 10 minutes late so you skip the advertisement. skip, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they would not take lightly if I compared to two cinema advertising, but yeah, that's the point. That's essentially it. Yeah. Well, you see it on the website. The first thing you see on 9 out of 10 government websites mm -hmm. is about us. I know. I used to live in New York. And what I learned in New York is one thing is it's never about what, what you do. It's what are you going to do for me? Exactly. So that service is the first thing is about us. And if I go to a nuts and bolts website, I want to buy, I want to see what kind of nuts and bolts do you have? How much are they most MOQ? Are they go? Are they good? What delivery time? Do you have special ones? That's right. How can I search? I'm like, we started in 1845 with my great, 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 great please. The second thing they show is news. Do I care? Yeah. Your news is good. It was Rachel last year. I'm happy for you. And I have the nuts and bolts now. That's right. Or That's news is there is a convention of nuts and bolts in Taiwan next year. Great. I just, I just want to write about the nuts and bolts in oh, this yeah. So a lot of this has to do with customer centric thinking. Yes. And this is something that is not taught in Taiwan. It's not indigenous to culture. It's the whole confusion thing of. Mm -hmm. Become authority, become government civil servant, then you have the authority to speak and you have the line. Yeah, the, the noble scholar servant thing. Noble servant. Yeah. Uh -huh. And that is something that I have no idea how we can change that. Uh -huh. How we can just tell people, what do your customers do? I always tell, if I can take a quick break, to explain sure, sure. I tell my students, what do you ask the customer? What do you want? The customers want? What do they need? What do they expect? What do they fear? Yeah. Now, what we expect every time, that's the same thing. No. You got a phone here? Um, Nokia. 
Okay. Eight point one zero. Nice. I have a iPhone that I all. Okay. It's Sony. You know. I got this one because it's what Neo uses in missions. But in any case, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got an iPhone okay. because I'm not like you. Uh -huh. I'm special. Okay, I'm special. I'm a little bit more creative. I have some boring, uh, boring thing. Yeah. Uh, well, you're right. You're special. You're not like the next guy. I'm not like some sort of Android guy. Yeah, it's a personality. I'm a little bit designy. I know. The funny thing is, Apple is the most sold phone in the world. Because the whole thing is both. It's an amazing product because 99% of the people who use it think they're slightly better than the rest of the world. It's just an amazing statistic. It's like 90% of the people think they have a large and average sense of humor. You know what I mean? So, it's yeah, you're very funny. So, <laughs> above average. <laughs> above average. That's the important part. Above average. Sense of humor, above average. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll take it, I'll take it. So when I tell my students, like, I ask them, like, what, if I'm, what kind of phone do you want? And they all go, well, I want an iPhone. What do you want the phone you need? And I'll tell you, you need an HTC phone. Uh -huh. so, not anymore, because but five years ago. It used to be Google Pixel now. Google Pixel. It's still Google Pixel. Well, you can see it an example because of yeah. the time of these phones. HTC, why? This is a much better phone. For what you use it for, you can change the battery out, you can swap the memory, it's got a great screen, it's half the price of an iPhone, uh -huh. it's got a universal adapter, you can plug it in. Man, you know, you want an iPhone, but you need an HTC. Yeah, you need two HTC phones. <laughs> <laughs> the third phone, what do you expect? You expect a mirror. I expect to open the box and say, uh, hey, you there, call my mother. It's, right. it's not working. Damn thing, you know, it's not always mine. Yeah. The problem is that the phone that I expect is a miracle science fiction phone that knows exactly what I want uh -huh. before I even know it myself. Uh -huh. What I want is to be a cool iPhone. What I need is something practical solution. Yeah. What I expect is a miracle. And what I fear oh. is the Motorola T61 flip phone that doesn't do anything except make calls. That's my biggest fear. I call okay. that doesn't do anything. Okay. So there's four different phones. Just like before we talked about the phone, mm -hmm. it turns out there's four different phones. Mm -hmm. If I'm in the of selling phones, I need to know what your phone, what your four phones are. Mm -hmm. So I can either persuade you to buy the one that you need, or I can accommodate you to give you the one that you want, and make sure you don't cry afterwards, and make it with a take with the fear that it's not going to be the phone that you're afraid of. And also have to limit your expectations of miracles. No, it doesn't know who your mom is, then you've got to teach you who your mom is first, otherwise it's going to pull your mom. Hey Siri, my mom's number is this. Exactly. Yeah, it's, a, it's in your address book. Yeah. The type of series I can't find your mom. I couldn't find her either. Yeah. yeah. So there are four different phones. So you need to think customer centric before you can deliver anything, any message, any communication, any click has to happen. It cannot happen before you first say what's your problem. Like, what do you mean? mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you feel? Uh -huh. Let me help you. That's right. Once I've done that, I've already established the connection. Then I can deliver the message. And then it can be go hiking with Alan Sun. Can you buy this phone? It can be, hey, we can help with COVID. Mm -hmm. It can be, hey, uh, we're the functional democracy in Asia. We deserve a little bit more than just the corner of the seat at the table. We deserve a seat at the table. Mm -hmm. All these messages all start with reaching out to people saying, like, Mm. Mm. I'm not saying, here we are, this is who we are, this is what we started, about us, this is the news, oh, by the way, this is what we're going to do for you. Mm. We need to flip that around everywhere. We have our website, we have documentation, how we present stuff. We'll start with a picture of the office building, you know, and the history, the timeline. And, you know, if you go to the site museum, the website, I think they changed it now. The first thing we saw about us was the resumes of all the previous directors. I could see where the guy who ran the site museum six years ago, where he got his high school diploma, where he learned to swim. I just want to know what time they open so I can take my son there. I said, well, I don't know what time they open, what's to do? Can I park there? So I show them this. Can I eat there? That's, that's where I went. Not where the former director went to school. How many degrees is and the handshake with the man. If you know a way to help us help, I greatly appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we're going to work with the, the RAID project, uh, which, by the way, is an acronym. Uh, it stands for Rescue Action by Use. Uh, I like that. Yes. I like that. 
like save those poor government services and websites from the uh, noble lineage scholar servant. It's, it doesn't come from a bad place. It does not come from a bad place. It's just a different world. I know. It's you know the next. Yeah, it, it worked pretty well when people write calligraphy on silk. Yes. Uh -huh. Or or it was the yeah, for that culture. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. And even maybe even later before that, uh -huh. before you had a tenant, mm -hmm. you had to commit to go to the library and picking out a book. And now it's like ah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so I just so I just so might mm -hmm. but one of our clients is here for a public mm -hmm. And I thought they were difficult to mm -hmm. manage. As a matter of fact, they're incredibly slow. Mm -hmm. But once you talk directly to the government, mm -hmm. it's not full of the time. My biggest problem with Taiwan is stones don't float. Mm. So wisdom in part of Taiwan at the bottom doesn't flow. If you put it at the top, it kind of sinks down like a stone and then it percolates on the ground. And our challenge is how do we get our bricks at the top so they can float down mm. and do the good work? Because we keep shoveling it on the bottom or it just washes it away. I know. That's my pitch. Very good pitch. I have nothing else to say except now I'm here to listen. What can I do? It's it's awesome. It's way better than above average. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. Let me tell you what I'm going to do this. I can do this. I'm a mom and so proud. Thank you. I can do this. So. So this is very open and I think it can be really we can see my friend sure. Joel who knows the, 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 the French tech he said, man, talk to me, I'll I'll yeah, sure. I said, love to. Yeah, I know. I have my uh, relationship with French tech. I was I spent six of the twelve hour uh, twelve um, months before I be become the digital minister back in 2015 to 2016. Mm. Six of the twelve months I was in Paris, mm. uh, and so I, I was like almost almost getting to the point where I consider moving to Paris, oh. uh, and then and the cabinet offered me a position, so I'm now, now back. Right. So so I'm, Sorry, I'm happy you're back. Yeah, of course, of course. I'm really really happy to. To be that. But the point being uh, that the French tech uh, actually uh, goes goes way back, uh, like uh, when uh, first the um, Republic Nordic, uh, the Digital Republic consultations yeah. uh, were taking place, uh, the first uh, kind of startup uh, for good, the tech for good branding, uh, all of these things, uh, when they start pushing for, for Laura and things like that. So, so we, we go way back. Mm -hmm. uh, and so when they run their first uh, international outreach program called the uh, Nudesite, the Night of the Ideas. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I was there for the inaugural one uh, in the um, in, in the uh, meeting place uh, that has never opened for live streaming before. Uh, so it was logistically a very large challenge, yeah. but uh, they managed to get it back. Uh, so um, so I, I'm really fond uh, of getting this uh, message across that Taiwan was not the Taiwan that people remembered where the MPs uh, fight all the time. Well, they still oh. do uh, in the oh, parliament. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. yeah, yeah, and and not the the, the one uh, when you know people still look for you know benevolent dictator uh, that maintains the martial law. And yes. I, I still remember that too. So anyway, so Taiwan has changed, but uh, a lot of communication doesn't sound changed or seem changed. I mean, we, sure. we got we got marriage equality. We got a very good, um, you know, actually the only so it the best uh, pride in the world because everything else turned virtual. So okay, so yeah, I still think we have. Uh, I, I don't think Amsterdam run a physical pride though. Not last this year. year. I know. So this year, oh, this year, year, this year, our physical pride was the best yeah, because yeah, nobody yeah, else yeah. won the physical pride. You'd be able to do it. <laughs> and then, yeah, so so my point is that these stories deserve to be uh, told in a yeah, way yeah. that approaches people from their interests, from their point of view, mm -hmm. not from this heart of Asia, noble lineage yeah, or, uh, so point of view. Touch your heart. Touch your heart. Uh, touch your heart. Yeah, so I think we have a national slogan from the country. That's a, that's a grammatical mistake. It says, it says Taiwan can help. It's my name. I think I this is okay. That's short. Okay. <laughs> yes. That's 
that's at least grammatically, grammatically correct. But no. touch your heart, like is that a command, <laughs> or is it imperative, <laughs> or is it is it like touches your heart? Yeah. You just forgot to yes. I mean, how can we have some sort of dialogue? What's the mistake in there? I don't get it. Uh -huh. Wasn't there anyone who said, wait, wait a second? I went to school here. My biggest beef with that is that if I, if we send something to the world like that, we send one of the three messages. The first one is, I never had English, I'm just winning it now. The second is, I have a lot of friends, but I don't know anyone who went to school. <laughs> Seriously, none of my friends finished high school, none of them has a word of English. But the third one is, and that's the most killing message, I don't care. Yeah, all your bases are belong to us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, all your bases are belong to us? <laughs> you know the keyboard cat, right? The, 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 the taking back memes. All your bases are not very belong to early us. Internet. It's very early on that one. All your bases are not belong to us. <laughs> it was uh, in, a, in a video game. Okay. Right. Yeah, but, but it's so bad it's funny. Yeah. And then touch your heart. Exactly. It isn't even that bad. Yeah. Well, it um, is. It, it's not. It's not even intentional. It's like know. this is printed on banners on, on everywhere. It wasn't that anyone. I don't want to be the guy with the flag who climbs on the barricades and says everybody listen up. I would just love that they gave me a call. I can hear it's four o'clock in the morning and said like, can you check this spell? Check this for me. I'd love to be the guy who could have done it. Mm. That's all I ask. I'm not enough for fame, glory, hand out jobs. How can we help? These things, the small things, the big things, how, what can we do to, to get through another round of review? A little moment of like, hey, wait a second, are we approaching this right? Is there any way we can be like a layer in between that says, like, before we publish this website, let's just ask some independent people, is this really what we need to show? Is this really what we need to do? This presentation we're gonna do here in front of 5,000 people, can we just see if that really is a good presentation? That kind of thing. Is there any way, I mean, yeah, I think our array uh, project is part of that. Did it fits that bill? Yeah, it fits that bill. I mean, if you go to the newer websites, actually the, the hiking website, which if you have yeah. Wi-Fi here, yes. uh, you can probably uh, open. <coughs> I'll share it. Uh, when you gotta go, you gotta go. Kick us out with you. That's right. fine, it's fine. Yeah, with zero. Your plenty of time, maybe 14 minutes. Mm. Um, right. <laughs> right. So we, we just launched a website today, actually. Which um, is cool. Um, so uh, the website we just launched today is called 3000.gov.tw. 3000.gov.tw. Let's have a look. Um, and I hope it's not too bad. There's an English version if you uh, just submit at right, so the EN on the upper right side. I hope it's not too horrible. But anyway, so it's the triple stimulus budgets. Um, and the, the point uh, that I'm making is that there's a small line uh, in the bottom, in the footer, that says to the extent uh, possible, uh, by law, the uh, Small and Medium uh, Administration Ministry of Economy Affairs has waived all copyright and related or neighboring rights to creative content uh, on 3000 GOVTW and this work is published on Taiwan. So this is basically an invitation that says if you see anything horribly wrong on this website, you can make it better. You can send a pull request, uh, which is on GitHub, right? You can just change it. Uh, Who would you like to respond to that? Anyone. Anyone who, A user? No, no, no. People who look for translating this to Indonesian or to um, Malaysian or to Philippine Tagalog uh, or to other languages. But what is this? This is a easy to get, easy to use, stimulating and touching stimulus voucher. It says so on the tin. Yes. Uh, but right. And then. I, I'm sorry if I'm, I'm a little yeah. stupid here, but what does it, what is, what is it, what is it, what do I need, what does it do? Yeah, so if you click the credit card, for example, yeah. the credit card. Well, if you, sorry, the credit card, not a store by okay. card. And I don't even know why the connection drops, because it works on my computer, but anyway. Okay. Right, so what it says is that, okay, so uh, if you've got a credit card in any of those banks, you can uh, start uh, declaring 
So you're going to spend three thousand NT dollars starting July fifteenth, uh, and then uh, once you spend three thousand NT dollars, then let us know. Uh, you can get to two thousand of that back from mm -hmm. a nearby ATM. That's it. Okay. Uh, and so, so that's the, the stimulus program, and then it links to all the different banks' offers. Uh, and I note that the post office is not in English. So yes. <laughs> okay. Right. So so yeah. So so if 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 uh, there's something horribly wrong there, uh, okay. and if you look at it and think, oh, a English speaker would never have gone past the you know trouble of would clicking you? over um, to one of the choices right. and so on, right. then that means that there is a chance for collaboration. Okay. That means that you can make it better because this runs until the end of the year. Um, okay. And so. Um, we can gradually make the service better. And, and by the way, the, the Hype website that I mentioned, the one nice. that's redesigned by the Ray, start with the search where you can enter the name of the mountain you're going to climb. And they start with some Jade Mountain and recommendations. When I click on search, will it actually search the website or will it just give me top Google results like oh. often happens in Taiwan? Uh, no, it's it's uh, the genuine. It, it's, okay. the, it's a really it's a genuine search. Yeah, it's a really old. So if you click Zhongxueshan, which is the middle of the snow mountain, it's nice. Yeah, uh, then uh, it shows. Oh, maybe you want to climb over its west uh, Lingxian, uh, the the west peak, the, the west part, uh, and then uh, that will take you six days. And so here are all the parts that you need to. Um, basically a book and we right. found that for you and you just choose your start date or end date and if you don't want to go through discount you don't go through discount and then they it makes the booking for you and, and then there's a clear progress bar and so on right. so, so this is and this completely leaves the old system intact so no one can complain exactly, exactly. It. That, that's the whole point yeah so so if people complain well they can complain about uh, for example that there is no Japanese that's, French. Uh, okay, uh, maybe we can try French. Uh, okay, maybe not lots of fish after all. But anyway, okay. I, <laughs> see, I already see. Yeah. Uh -huh. I see exactly where we could be of value. Uh -huh. Because this is a wonderful idea. Yes. But it needs one more little sugar coating layer on top. Yes. Which is. Explore Taiwan from the top down, oh. or explore the top, the best, the highest. Explore the top of Taiwan. Ah, oh. easy, safe, reliable, clear. Right. right. I mean, this is still too many words. No, it's okay. Yeah. But uh -huh. like this already implies that I'm a dedicated mountain mountaineer. The only right. difference between the old mountaineers mm -hmm. is that I don't like the old website, but I'm mm -hmm. still not actually saying like, hey, you want explore? Cool. You, this you climbed everywhere. Yeah. No, not at all. Just when you get started. Right. It starts with, hey buddy, you want to climb Mars? Yeah. And that's the first shell. So we're thinking with this thing here. Yeah, the same thing here. Pull up here. Yeah. My first thing is, what's the promise? What's the core promise? Yeah, what's the core promise? So mm -hmm. what we have on our first page on our website is we are storytellers who tell the story of your business. Every business needs a story, every business has a story, and there are no boring stories, not mm -hmm. bad storytellers. Okay. So, if you have a story to tell, you need a storyteller. You spread it to the world. That's what we do. Our core promise, and then we go to what we've done, what we've worked with. Mm -hmm. But it starts with that core promise. So, again, here, mm -hmm. it takes me mm -hmm. five minutes to figure out yeah. what is it work. Why would I engage? Why That's would right. I engage? That's right. That's right. Is there any reason why you would tell me, hey, buddy, mm -hmm. look at this? The hey buddy nudge is not there. Once the nudge is there, the world opens. It's like the first line in the nightclub. You have a good, I don't know if it's too old for that, but I mean, you have, you have a good opening line. In any conversation, you have a good opening line. You can establish a report, and suddenly, like, okay, sure, it opens up the back of communication. Mm -hmm. And that's always the layer that's most interesting. And people we'll say, like, well, let's say the bus timetables, they're all there on the website. Yeah. Yes, but they're all ordered by, by bus number and not by where I live, for example. That's right. So, I want to take the bus, can you help me? Ah. That's how it starts. That's, that's great. I forgot that's my great. umbrella on the bus. <laughs> uh, and not like, okay, there's, you know, there's a lot of the websites that take, get taken up by stuff I really don't need. There's a special discount for senior soldiers who 
oh, okay, they, they don't pay five MT, they pay four MT on the bus. I'm sure that's an important issue for this group of people, but it shouldn't clog up the rest of the interface. Let's keep it relevant to what most of your users want and need. And that mostly is just feeling like, mm, I actually have to do that. You know, you see K, the notorious comedian, Nerd, uh, he was my hero until he got involved in a Me Too scandal and he fell from grace, which is unfortunate because he had good points to love. This guy in the supermarket on his phone, and his wife is just all, all blotchy and red. Can you help me? I'm stressed out. I'm not from dinner party. You know, he was so He's observing his marriage falling apart in the supermarket. And she's like, can you help me? And he said, you know, all he has to do is fall. Put her, his hand on her shoulder, turn around and say, babe. What do you mean? Yeah. That's something you see. Just say, hey. Mm. That's something we often forget. We have this, we have that. Yeah. It's brilliant observation. So then that's a life thing. It's a life thing. It works in marriage counseling, uh -huh. I can attest to that. It works in, in relationship, it works in an office, uh -huh. it works everywhere, but it especially works here. Yeah. Because it's all great. I know. But you have to engage with the same question. Well, what's it about? What's yeah. it about? Yeah. Hey, you want to see something fun? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is cool. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And then I might say, like, well, maybe not for me. Okay, okay, that's fine, that's fair. But it starts with that engagement. And often, I don't blame you. I mean, if you're a curator of a museum, you just bought a new painting of a potato that you want to get all your life to eat there, you're like, oh my god, we're going to recall this the potato museum. No, 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 no. Take one step back. I applaud your enthusiasm. And I applaud the effort that goes into it. Let's stop for a moment. Let's try it. That's what we do. We're the guys that say, great product, great company, great observing, whatever, big, small, great many cookies. Stop from Let's ask the customer. Yeah. Yeah, what are the flavors? Good question. Mm. Yes. Click here. Mm. Can I get them delivered? Of course. We specialize in delivery. Mm. Within five hours, that went to a fresh. That's what I need to do. It doesn't start with the first tree was planted in 1845. Sure, when I dig deeper, I want to find that. Mm -hmm. But don't give me the encyclopedia and say, like my child, when he asks a question, why is this guy blue? And I say, well, here's the encyclopedia, so it's somewhere in there. I tell him what this guy is blue. Oh, five hours delivered. That's one hour shorter than PC mode. Uh, okay, so I'm just, just <laughs> winging it here. Okay, now you can look up. That's just glow, glow. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> no, no, but that's, that's how it's going to be. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, you, you, you have a really good point. Um, I think uh, part of the reason why uh, uh, I, I showed you the hike I want and the 3000 thing is that it represents a, a new approach of public service design. I love this line. I love it. Uh, and it's uh, over innovation, meaning yes. that you don't have to uh, ask my permission to redo this website or the hiking. Yeah, the hiking one has been redone many times uh, by uh, an app called Hiking Book, mm. uh, and uh, I think at least two uh, apps, Jinxing uh, Beauty, uh, that's the other one, I don't know its English name, mm. uh, but the point is that because the uh, hike search bar and everything mm. was just uh, at the end making back-end requests for two of those existing websites, we streamlined those. So anyone who wants a new, more exciting front-end can just go ahead and do that. Uh, and I think that's the, the important part, is just to open up for alternative imaginations without destroying the old one. I love that, yeah. I love that. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, mm -hmm. that democratization mm -hmm. of design and yeah. interface mm -hmm. doesn't absolve the original creator no, it doesn't. from asking no, it doesn't. Question. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, but, but, but when a particularly good one uh, comes up, it makes it so that the original creator can just say, hey, wow. would you like to, uh, you know, just use your version to become our website? Okay. Which literally happened if you uh, Google for uh, Musk uh, and our uh, uh, office name, PDIS. So if you just Google for Musk and then PDIS. Musk. Yeah, Musk space, PDIS. Or I think it also works without PDIS. Oh, sorry. Yeah. 
Right, so, so that's the first one. So you see literally 140 different visualization of how many masks are there in our nearby pharmacies. Uh, and so the, the point here is that it's kind of like a portfolio page for aspiring uh, front-end designers. Right. I think right. this shows uh, near Tainan, uh, which pharmacies are still open and have masks in store. Uh, this is actually one of the earliest ones. So it's not super pretty, but it's uh, open source, and the author uh, put it together in less than 48 hours, and even the Koreans are using it, which is really good. But if you scroll down a little bit in the, or the original thread in the first tab, uh, you see new designs, like the last one. Right, uh, right Like right, this right. one, yeah, that one, that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. yeah. That's, yeah. And this is uh, much better from user experience yes. point. Yes, yes. Uh, because it only shows you the pharmacy that actually have mask installed. Right. Right. It is, uh, gives you all the uh, yes. right, all the efforts. Yes. Uh, 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 so you can actually Why just, want to just refresh. Want to show have you right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it shows you where you are and, and the nearby pharmacies that still have masks installed because that's all you need. And then you can just click and navigate here. That's great. And that's right. Great. So, so this one came later, like maybe a month or so later than the original one. But because they work off the same API, they work off the same data, uh, and nowadays for triple stimulus vouchers, we're offering the post office uh, triple stimulus voucher um, uh, stock uh, in the same API. Mm -hmm. So all of this visualization can be then reused. And so just today, someone took that and launched ocean.taiwan.gov.tw. That's another website for you. This is really exciting. I'm not sure that an IT so guy. Ocean. T A I W A N. T A I. T A I Taiwan. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Taiwan is one of the indigenous nations, but they don't own the ocean uh, by themselves. So Ocean. T A I W A N. G O V. T W. I love this convergence under the surface. That's really cool. That's right. That's right. Uh, and so this basically shows you uh, the uh, anything that you want to do with the oceans, really. So if you just uh, go to any place that of your interest you can submit in or something, uh, then you can actually see uh, like fishing ports and the tourism information. And if it's a control area and it's a permit, it also shows you where you get a permit uh, and, and all this. And, and they learned directly from the different layers and the zoom in, zoom out visualization of the mass map that I, I, I showed you previously. And so right. this, this innovation builds on one another. And so it forms kind of a pattern that each successive government digital service can build upon the older ones that are contributed by independent designers. We certainly didn't contract any of the 140 mask uh, visualization, but we learn from the best mm. and say, oh, our next digital service is going to be based off that particular one. Uh, and so that's, again, one of the ways that you can help, because not many of these designers uh, cater to a uh, foreign or international audience. Or, but they're, or even a local. I know, I know, I, I know. But for ocean and hiking, these are the two sure. main sure. attractions sure. Uh, that uh, when international visitors want to come to Taiwan, they often want to climb or to surf. And, and so we really need to serve international visitors and give them, as you said, the nudge. And so that's where also I think there could be a lot of help with. Yeah. yeah. The, when I, I, the first thing that comes to mind when, when I look at you know design graduate students, industrial design graduate students. Um, and I some students this was it. Taiwan is full, brilliantly full of engineers who are designing solutions and then go out there looking for the problem. And this is a pandemic here. We always design solutions. We're getting better and better design solutions, but no one's actually asked if there's a problem. Exactly. I mean, every year I see another five new teapots designed with Bluetooth built in, so you can you know check with your friends with the Bluetooth that how hot the tea is and how good the tea is. Honestly, you have to install an app to make tea today. So mm -hmm. It's not true. It doesn't make the world a better place. I think we really need to find a way to to make this all relevant to the user. I think that's the next step. I mean, I admire uh, for many people to come the But who will do this like, okay, is this a solution to an existing problem? If so, we immediately need to get it out there where it can do its work. If it's not, we need to ask ourselves, does it make sense? 
Yeah, for, for hacking, there's an immediate problem, right? Is the yeah. permit and fixing my yes. machine yeah. thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 scattered interface. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So basically, encouraging people not to do it or encourage them to do it outside the law, which is equally really bad, right? But because you get into the habit of violating the law, then because Yeah, exactly. I mean, law kind of reach what enforcement cannot follow. So if you don't create a good system, you, you you cannot expect people to to adhere to that law. I know. So it's very important. That's that's important. And I think. But then again, you ask yourself, your average client, what does he want? You right. have to also shamelessly say, it's a one-click solution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Click you will take care of it. Right. So exploring the what's need to be solved. And I promise this is the last URL because we only have four minutes. Uh, okay. It's uh, polis p o l i s dot g o v dot t w slash ocean. So, um, and I think Google Translate works here, but anyway, the point is that we're asking everybody who want to learn a little bit more about the ocean, uh, what do you think are the burning questions? Let's not jump to the solutions. Mm -hmm. Let's ask what's currently wrong or what's currently right, but we need to do more of it mm -hmm. uh, across um, opening up oceans for access, uh, information, integration, and transparency, services, education, and the responsibility. Uh, and so for the next 30 days, we're going to use a, if you click on any of those pictures, maybe the first one, um, yeah, it opens this uh, website uh, where you can uh, do machine translation. If you click that right, right. button, sorry, the, the button in the middle. No, no, the, the, the one here. Oh, sorry. Yeah, oh, right. Uh, it may or may not work. But anyway, so uh, you can look at the suggestion from that person, whether you uh, are um, in accord, uh, agree with it or uh, disagree with it. And if you click the agree or disagree, your avatar uh, down below would move toward the people who similarly agree or disagree with it. So um, currently there are three groups of people. Uh, and we just launched, uh, there's 30 days to go. Uh, but the idea is that people can find kind of the consensus of what need to be solved before we actually design solutions. This is digital democracy in motion. I know, yeah, I know. We tried this with the hiking part. That's how we get people who are interested in hiking, contributing to that integrated experience. And we're now repeating this for, for oceans. Cool. So, so I think this, this is also something that um, I welcome your input. Like literally, there's an input box down below. That okay. you can, that you can let's get started with that. Yeah. Let's just, you know, Let's not jump to the big yeah. lofty plans. Let's just sure. see. I'll give you some feedback on this. Sure, sure, sure. How's that? All right. Thank you. Thank you. You know who owns the name TaiwaneseDesign.com? Mm hmm. TaiwaneseDesign.com. Do you know who owns it? You? Yes. Okay. You know why? Why? Because I published the first ever book of Taiwanese Design together with another Dutchman. We went to uh, the TDC and okay. we said, Are you interested at all? Wow. He said, Nah. So we got page one to publish it, and I got the domain in. I said, okay. well, listen, I don't need it. You need it. Mm -hmm. okay. And we couldn't get anywhere. Okay. So anything you can do to say, like, spread, to spread the name, spread the word. Anyone yeah. you know who's interested who needs help, we'd love to have a company. We don't need to be hired. We don't need to be, you know, brought in as a PR firm. That's what we do for a living, sure. But, that, but that's not right. So it started like mm -hmm. a really nice conversation. Like, that's right. Thank you for that. I appreciate no it. problem. Yeah, so you always have coffee here. So feel free yeah. to drop that. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Great, Great. Thank you. Thank you.